What's going on NASCAR fans? NASCAR Diecast fans, I'm back with another Diecast review. It's on Cole Custer's 2022 Wave 4 NASCAR Authentics. All the cars on the back, I believe I have most, if not all, of these cars. Have, 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 have. I don't think I have that one. I don't think I have that one. Don't know if I have that one. I don't think so. So these three are already automatically out. Rest are in. So let's see what we're getting ourselves into. This is on the PCC mold. I don't know what to say about it. Don't like it. A lot of other diecast fans don't like it. They don't even have the freaking hood pins on the PTC molds. PTC molds have gone downhill with the next gen cars. Gen 7 cars, I can call them now. It's gone downhill with the quality in the PTC molds on the net, on the Gen 7 cars. Look how easy I can just open it up. Just like nothing. Literally nothing. Alright, so. Put that back together now. This thing's been on the shelf. On my spinning rack too freaking long. Yeah, I have a spinning rack. I have all my cars on for reviews. There's a sticker. Very, oh gosh, very, very pixelated. Oh boy, <laughs> this is a hilarious lineup. And those are paint chips. No, what? The coloring of the sticker is also off. You got white there, black there, black spot there. You got black spots everywhere on this sticker. Right in this area is where it's... Oh my gosh, it's bad. It's not my camera. Moving this up, moving it down. Why no? Let's see what we're getting ourselves into here with the um, good old 164 scale car. Yahas. <laughs> I know. Oh, gosh. Yeah, uh, the scratched up interior once again. Typical Lino. Hold on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Come on. Mm. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Chassis 22-3. That's what it says in there. Chassis 22-3. Lionel. Why? At least the car rolls a, car rolls decent. That's a good thing. I, I crap. This is the only good interior I have. Or uh, sat next to me. Uh, I will admit that once she was a little scratched up. Oh well. Look at the interior on the inside if you guys can see it. You got interior. This, you don't. All it is is just a separate piece. Alright, let's see what else is wrong with this car. You got a paint bubble right there on the one. Is it me? Or should that Goodyear logo be black? Yes, it's like a purple color. I will admit it looks good, but I don't know if that's a mistake or not. So, 
Let me know in the comments if that is supposed to be like that. You got some rough bone going on there. Paint bubble going on there. It looks like you got a paint chip there on the S. <sighs> oh, gosh. Here's the bottom of it. They can't even freaking put PTC on right. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's what it's supposed to look like. Not upside down. <laughs> oh, gosh. What the crap? Hold on. No way. Is that... Hold on a minute. You guys can see the inside. There's a bar going there. Okay, there's a bar there too, but it just looks crappier. Hold on a minute. No. What the frick did they do? <laughs> this is another PTC version I have. Here's this one. The I. Hold on, I'm looking at the window nuts. I don't know what's going on with the window nuts. Screw it. Tester there, not centered. You got Ford. Hunt Brothers Pizza, some other little sponsors. Tooling.com, Haas. Haas, uh, you got some more paint chips going on. Paint bubbles. There is a paint bubble right there. I, if I pop it, there goes the car. So, GW, good wrench. 41. Hold on a minute. Is it me? Or some of this outlined in blue and black? Why is some of this... It's outlined in, like, different... Two different colors. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but it don't look it. Then the interior over here. What the crap? Why now? There is nothing. Gahas tooling.com. Holy crap. What's going on back here? You got what's that pink bubble there as well. Whole back end looks butchered. Nice line. It looks like paint bubble going on. I can't really tell, to be honest. Paint bubble there. Not clear quality at all. By any means. Alright. Uh, good wrench there. Paint bubble there. Paint bubble right there on the... Roof fin. Paint bubble there. Uh, production. Holy crap! Gray is fading over the black. A ton of paint bubbles going on over here. Paint bubble there. What the crap? Why in hell? Oh, holy crap. Look at the front end of this for. <laughs> The freaking headlights look so freaking small. And then you got paint chipping there. The colors are dull. I can't say they're too dull, but they do look pretty dull. <laughs> There's this black, black base. Whole car is painted black. Because they don't want to paint the spoiler a separate color. Whole reason why this car is like it is. They don't want to paint the spoiler a different color. So they're like, okay, let's paint the whole thing black. And let's put some decals over it. Lino. Anything over black. Decals like this over black. Makes the car look crappy. I will admit, they are getting better with the PTC molds. 
But when they first started out in 2022 with them, they suck. Absolutely suck. Nothing else to say about it. The peak TC mold sucks for the 2022 season. 2023, I haven't seen many um, die cast out, to be honest. Last wave they unveiled was uh, the Hendrick wave. Well, guess what? You can get that in the free and gold edition now. Where are the waves at? That's all I can say. Where are the waves? Where's the quality? I'm done here. I'm done. Hope you guys enjoy this uh, Cole Custer, Stuart Haas racing rant review. I, don't, I have nothing else to say about it. Why not? I'll just butcher this car in the BCC mold. Oh boy. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, keep notifications on so you first get notified when a new video comes out. And you won't miss out on another diecast review slash diecast rant review, kind of like this one. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Be back with more diecast videos. See you in the next video.